Okay, let's put this on pause. Aya, you were triggered by something I said. Yeah, I was triggered earlier because you said that I was here for a lifestyle. And I was like, what? You're not? No. And so that's why You're I... You're not here like, for a lifestyle? No. Not for, you said I'm here to go on trips and... No, you're here to, like you're that. here to be with, be under me. Uh, yeah, that is true. I am your guru. I'm your spiritual guru. You're here to learn more about yourself through me. That's a lifestyle. Yeah. But the but but I guess I misinterpreted what you said. Yeah. I misinterpreted that. Well, so, it's not it's not just that. There's something else. Go ahead. Well, in order for you to learn from your spiritual guru, you have to have a connection. I feel like for me, I've been doing this for like almost two years. You think people can hear you from over there? No. I said um, to, to be able to like learn from your spiritual guru, you have to have like a connection with them. So that's why they get um, all of the attention and all of the um, like lessons and teachings and stuff like that, like one on one, is because they do have a connection with you. And so I was thinking like. Um, I was making a making a decision. Probably isn't a good one. Mm -hmm. But I was feeling like, yeah, maybe I should just go my separate way because that had triggered me to the point where, and then I had um, the video in Mexico had popped up when Vilva uh, left, and you was on live talking about me saying that. Um, what did you say? You said that um, that I just came, I was kind of like a groupie and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I had kind of got triggered off of all of that. And so it just made me feel like, you know what, I probably just had to leave. Mm -hmm. I, probably, I probably should. And why, why come to that? Um, it came to that because, for one, I have been going every day without addressing these issues. Mm. So when it comes, it's like a big thing because I have not addressed them. And so that's why it goes to that extreme. Like, okay, well, I'm gonna make a decision that I have to go my separate way. What do you think about that, Papi? Hey, whatever you wanna do, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, exactly. What you, why you say exactly? I said exactly because I'm like, okay, in my mind, which may not even be true, but this is my perception right mm -hmm. now, is that like, because you have them and you're like, well, um, they're, they, I really like them and I, uh, I really don't like you. I'm like, okay, well, you probably not even going to mind of the decision that I'm so that's why I said because I don't I don't I'm not begging nobody to be here exactly. and and like if you don't want to be here and you don't see the value of being around here and being here you need to leave and yeah. then you need to figure that out but yeah. when you leave it'll be too late so it's like this is where they come back and forth because they realize damn I had it all over there I left it for what was greener what would appear would be a greener on the other side but that grass ain't greener on the other side when you get over there but then again, it's up to you. Like, right. do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like, I, like I, it's... Only reason why I, huh? Oh, shit. How do I do that? Hold on real quick. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, where you got to turn it off? Hold on. Hold on. Listen, only reason why, you know, I stopped Malia, because I know Malia ain't got nowhere to go. And she, she making an irrational decision. But I ain't never going to stop nobody that really want to leave. Nigga, bounce. Because I don't need you around if you don't want to be around. I ain't asked your ass to come here. You feel me? So it's, it's like, 
If you feel like, yo, I want to go, and you feel like that's playing games to see if I value you, I mean, I value you, but I value, me and you have a business exchange. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So our value is equal to what we provide to each other. Mm, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So if you feel like, yo, I could do better than this, then go do better. For yourself, that's real rap. Oh, if, yeah. if you feel like, yo, I could do better for myself than this, yeah. then go do better. Like, I, that's, that's what, you, what I advise anybody. You feel what I'm saying? I don't mean I don't care about you, but I also think that you really want to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying that. But, but you know what I'm saying? If I felt like I didn't really want to go, I'd be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Stop acting stupid. You know what I'm saying? But then I so, think she's, she's like, she's gonna, you're gonna feel it when you go over there. Like, you're gonna feel like, damn, I don't even be here. I kind of feel it here. Kind of feel what? Like, you, you said I'm gonna feel like, it when I go over there. But it's like, I kind of feel it here. Feel what like, here? Like, feeling not wanting to be here. And then I said, when you, you get kind of feel what? I feel like, I just, you know, I listen to everything that you say, mm -hmm. and, you know, you say, like, if you're not able to grow here, then you're not going to be able to do it, and then the other I don't let that these, I'm don't let these people, myself. don't let these people online hype you up. I just don't want to see you fall for the okie doke. That's what I feel. They, 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 you're, you're, this is why, this is why you're doing it live. That's like, no, she, no, 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 you falling for the fucking okie doke. Nah, but on some G I shit, on some G that. shit, on some, to. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On, yeah. Stop I, talking I when I'm talking, y'all. Saying what? What are you saying I'm when I'm talking? What, did I'm, what are you talking about when I'm talking? Nothing. You know the drill with me. Don't play with me. Listen, like I said, um, when it come to, when it come to me, it's like, I see the okie doke, right? I can see your demons from a mile away. I can see the okie doke. We can see it. I can see her playing games with the people's mind. Yeah, like she's like, playing games with the people's mind to, to set herself up for whatever situation she thinks she's going to advance off. But you, it's, it's, it's funny to me because I'm like, all right, go ahead, go do it. That's why I'm saying go do it. Because the truth is, ain't nothing out there. That's it. It's your life. This is it. This is the best as you can do. If you don't believe me, go do better. Because usually offline, go do better. Anything. You feel go me? Online, Get emotional and go be stupid and go do better. I, I like I, I told you, they always leave like and and Velvet tried her fucking best. She she over there torturing herself. You feel me? Cause I provide a good life for you. It don't matter, Aya. You feel me? Like I don't go out there and find a relationship, my nigga. Go find a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I don't. That's why I tell you to do it because you're being stupid. You feel me? Go do it. That's why you need to go do it. Because you don't understand why it's being stupid. Because you blinded. Go see what these people got to offer you on the other side. They like, yeah, Aya, fuck that. Leave, Aya. Go, motherfucker. You watch how many motherfuckers leave and go to the other side. They get what they want from you. And then what happened? You become a fucking shadow. And then that's just it. Go back to your old way of living. Everybody that leaves here, you're going to go back to the life you was living before me. Period. It just is what it is. You go back to your life. I'm going to continue to live mine. Period. And that's what it is. But at first, because you got some fame off of my name, you done came up off my name. You know what I'm saying? You think you got, you, you, oh, these people out here going to do this, this, and this, and that. And that's the, that's the illusion. Then after a while, you start to wither away just like Velvet. You start to go slowly back to the life you lived before me, my nigga. Which brings you right back to the reason why you fucking left in the first place. And you found me in the first place. Silly. So at first it's like, oh, Aya. Oh, Aya. Oh, Aya. And it's all empty. And then guess what? Aya swivels and wibbles back all the way to where she came from. Finds herself in the fucking tent in the, in the house, fucking yard. Reaching out to try to understand herself on higher frequency. Then, then the knowledge means something. Because why? If it wasn't meant for you to be here, your ass wouldn't be here. The fuck? That's why I said, just do what you want to do, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Go feel that. Go feel it. Like I, like I told, like, look, 
Like I told, like, like I told everybody, like, listen. You could go live your life in a lie. Go live your life a lie. Go live your life and, and lie to yourself and live in a, I don't know. But I guarantee you, if you, if you have a pure heart, your ass going to be led right back here. Period. That means if you have a heart to really want to know the truth and live by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I look for the truth, like literally look for the truth in everything and don't ignore nothing that is lit literally in front of me, I'm going to find myself right back in Baba G's face. Why? Because that's where reality is at. You can't unknow what you know, pussy. You can't. You're not going to be able to do it. What you look at me like that for? Because I know that. You said that I was going to go and get some cloud off of the people. I didn't, I didn't do that in Mexico. Aya, they hyping you. The devil hyping you through the people. You don't see the spirit of the saints on? Aya, Aya, oh my God, Aya. That's your demons. That's, that, that's the, that's the, that it right there. Is the demons that is, 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 is sucking, is, you know what I'm saying? Making you feel like, oh, it's going to be something for me over there. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to miss out on what you already fucking had. And because, let me tell you something. No matter where you go, there you are. If you can't deal with yourself right now, right here, then you're never going to be able to deal with yourself. Because all the answers is right here. Let me tell you something. People think they can run from themselves. You, you think you can run from yourself. Right but my nigga, when you leave, you taking you with you. You can forget about Baba G. Fuck him. Fuck carbonation. But you still gonna run into the same situations that you that you manifested here, there. But you ain't gonna have no advice. You ain't gonna have nobody there that's gonna let you know what the fuck going on. But you are gonna seek that. You're gonna be like, damn, I used to have an understanding, a deeper understanding of things. Because I was surrounded with people. And that higher self is a little whispering voice. It always gonna be there. Because I'm always gonna be there. But it's gonna whisper. But it's so loud out there, you can't really hear it. Mm. See, the reason why you got on this journey in the first place, because you start listening to that whisper. That thing that was like, yo, son, wait, question that. Question this. Seek, seek that. Seek this. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you start to ask questions and then found answers. Right? But the race is not given to the swift and the strong. This journey ain't easy. It's given to those that endure to the end. Niggas fall to the wayside. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But what I'm saying to her is, what you are dealing with right now, no matter if you was to leave this life and go into another one, you will find yourself in the same predicament. How you deal with it right now says everything about, what, you know what I'm saying, like who you are. Because no matter where you go, there you are. You could take yourself out of here. But you're still going to wind up in the same type of situation in a different form in another reality. In a, in a, in a, you see what I'm saying? Because it's you, my nigga. You are attracting every situation you need to yourself to grow through it. To, every situation is showing you something about yourself. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to go. Especially when you have someone giving you their advice and facing you with yourself. Go. Go find out, my nigga. Go find out. Go change Go, do you know what you do? You change the form. Every, nothing, is, nothing is lost. All is transformed. I'm not a carbonation. I'm not the Baba G. But the same lessons you have to work through. It doesn't matter where you go. So if you can't deal with yourself right here and your situation right here properly, then my nigga, this is who you're going to be regardless. You're always going to find yourself running. You're always going to find yourself getting to the same point in some other form and running. And that's how life works. You can't run from you. There's nowhere you can go where you can run from you. All we do is face you with yourself. Period. So do whatever you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because people always running from themselves, yo. We don't, we don't have problems. We have solutions here in carbonation. I give you nothing but solutions. Nothing but solutions. You're lazy. You're unambitious. Things that you need to come into in your north know you're refusing to do. So it doesn't matter what you're talking to me about. You still gonna have the same life lessons with or without me. I'm just the universe speaking a little louder. That's it.
People just want to go have the experience. That's what, you know, I tell them this, they be spoiled. You know what I'm saying? They be spoiled. Like, I'm going to go do this shit anyway. I'm going to go, have, I'm going to be a nutwear like Velvet. Go, let's go be a nutwear anyway. Fuck it. Now look at you. Pregnant with a nigga, baby, you don't even, you torture. It must be torture. To have to sit down. You sit in, I told her, no matter if you leave me or not, don't try to say I fucked your life up. I didn't fuck your life up. You fucked your life up. Your life was fucked up when you got it. I gave you answers. I gave you answers. And I can't make you apply that shit. It was fucked up when you came to me. That's why you come to me. You looking for answers. I gave you the truth. The hard facts. That's all I gave you. Can I make you apply that to your life? No, I can push you. I can try to bring you to the water. I can try to convince you to drink that shit. I can't make you do that. You was a problem before you got here and you leave and you still got problems when I gave you motherfucking solutions. Bitch, how can you run from yourself? You can't because you're living in a program. This is your program. You could change frequencies. Oh, but you're going to get the same lessons. Oh shit, you're gonna change the form. Oh, I'm not gonna be in carbonation. I ain't fucking with Nature Boy no more, but I guarantee you, you're gonna run into the same scenarios in another form if you can see it. If you can see it, you're gonna find yourself and you sit still long enough, guess what happens? Your shit comes up to you. It's just in another form. Because if you sit still long enough, your reality will show you your issues. Things and people are only apparatuses that are showing you yourself and things in yourself you need to work through. Yes. And I gave you those answers. I showed you your chart. I made it crystal clear for you, but I can't make you apply the knowledge. I can only give it to you. I can only deliver it to you. You got to take it and apply it to your life, Ock. The universe giving you what you need at all times. You got to be able to stop pointing the finger because you're going to miss the point and take responsibility and say, damn, where's my North Node? <laughs> Am I coming into my North Node? Am I doing that? So how can I sit here and point the finger at my teacher, my master? This is my master. This is my guru. See, pe black people don't like hearing that shit. Master and guru and chief and all that shit. But guess what? Money is your master. Mm -hmm. Dolce and Cabana is your master. Yeah. Louis Vuitton is your master. Birkin is your master. All that shit is your master. It controls you. What I'm saying to you is if you find a master to help you become a better version of yourself, go forward with it. Have respect for your journey. Call a motherfucker, master, teacher, professor, whatever you need to call them to take your shit serious, your life. Why the fuck wouldn't I have a master guru or someone that can lead me into a greater version of myself and show me my shit? Yo, show me the truth. You want to see the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you feel You want to know the truth? You can't handle it. You're not strong enough to face it and fucking apply the knowledge to the fucking issues that I'm going to show you. You sure you want to see the truth? I can show you it. Yes, I'm manipulating you. I'm supposed to manipulate you. You've been manipulated into ignorance. I have to reverse psychology, nigga. We have to be able to manipulate our women and children. We have to be able to manipulate our environment. Now look up the word manipulate. That means to handle with skill. What I'm saying is true, and I'm articulating it with skill. This is a skill to make you be able to see your own things and make, make it make sense to you. That's a manipulation. I'm manipulating words to make you see what you need to see clear. So that's, I got to do that. But am I trying to like make you do something you don't want to do? Fuck no. I'm trying to help you see what you about to do you don't want to do. Now, people that's listening that's not on the frequency, of course, they're going to disagree with what's going on here. They're going to say, this is abuse. They're going to say, look, this person is crazy. These women are brainwashed. But ain't that what you need? To wash your fucking brain of all the lies and the fucking deceit since you've been born? When you was born, somebody gave you a name. They gave you a religion. You believed it. You never questioned shit. Why? Because these were your loved ones. 
You were programmed, my nigga. Someone said this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, color blue, red, green, yellow. And you just took it in for the first 18, 16 to 18 years of your life. You just believed in it. Whether it's been a religion, whatever they told you, you believed in it. You was programmed, nigga. You need to get brainwashed. Your mind is, your brain is a fucking computer. And if I got a computer with old systems on it that's no longer providing me with what I need to grow, I have to do what? I have to wash that computer clean and put the right information on it. So you got to get brainwashed. And our men need to brainwash our women. We need to brainwash you. Matter of fact, I can't brainwash you. You're going to have to wash your brain before you come to me. I can only put the new information in. And I can't even give you nothing until you empty that cup. So you're going to have to brainwash yourself. You're going to have to get rid of all the other shit that's in there that's blocking you from receiving the information I'm trying to give you anyway. You dig? So at the end of the day, you got to brainwash yourself to become something new. Oh, he's trying to brainwash you. Duh. What is your brain? It's a computer of your consciousness. Okay. So if my brain is computing software and I'm trying to upgrade to a new software, my computer must get brainwashed. I have to do a totally re reset to my brain. Even when you update your phone, it does a reset and your shit goes to sleep, boots back up, reboots. Goddamn, you got to re you got to brainwash everything that's on there and then upload the new shit. First of all, you can't even put the new windows on your shit till you up till you get what? You got to delete the old windows off your shit to get the new windows, nigga. Dummy, you're going to have to brainwash yourself to get the new information to become a new person. Niggas is retarded. I don't have time for these people and their low vibrational understandings of what really reality is. I can't please everybody. I can't appease everybody. I'm not here to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to help people understand what's reality and what's not. I offer you reality. I offer you the truth. You do what you want to do with that. I give in you everything that you need to be great. I'm going to give myself the best. i am giving you the best. I'm going to give myself the best too. You can sit there with the face that you... Look, man, like I said, bro, I'm not... No one's being held hostage here. My only job, my only job is to get you to understand because I know you, Aya, and I know your program. My, my job, and I know, what you're, I know what you're going through. So I'm like, you know, I, my job is to give you because out of love and out of... You know, you've been with me for how long? I'm going to give you the good advice you, 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 you need. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're 30-something years old. You're different. You're older. Mm -hmm. You know better. Little Malia, she's 23. She's 22. Velva was 22, 23. I, I, you know what I'm saying? They had my children. It was different. It was emotional, different things going on with them. But with you, it's like, come on, bitch. You're a grown woman. You know what's going on. And I ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. I'm grown, man. Come on. What we gonna do? We gonna barbecue meal, dude. What you gonna do with your life? You take your shit serious? That's the problem. We don't value our time. We got 20, you got 16 hours in a day. How many eight, how, how many times eight goes into 24? Three. Three times eight is, that means you got three eight hours. One of those eight hours go to what? Sleep. I guess six to eight hours. If you're gonna have premium health and you're a good immune system, you're gonna have need six, eight hours of sleep. Or if you can sleep that, you're gonna wind up getting sick. So proper hours of sleep is six to eight hours. That means you got 16 hours a day to be fucking great and get to your greatest version and to become a goddess. And anything in the way of that is a waste of your time. What are you entertaining yourself with? You understand what I'm saying? Stop wasting your time. Value you. Value your time. Because if you don't value your time, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're nothing. I, look, I can't be around people that don't value their time. I'll take this shit serious. That's why I'm so organized. I like things clean, neat, so I can think straight. I have rules and regulations and disciplines. You can't be great without discipline. You can't name me one person that didn't go through extreme discipline that became great. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. Anybody great, Bobby Fischer. It takes extreme discipline, Bruce Lee. Anybody that's become extraordinarily great was under extreme discipline. Extreme discipline because why? Without discipline, you can't be great. Ain't no greatness without discipline. You need discipline. 
There must be structure and order, extreme discipline to the point where it's like, damn, this is, but how did they become great? How did Michael Jackson become great? Because his dad gave him extreme discipline. How did Bruce Lee become great? You don't even know what Bruce Lee master did to him to become, to pull out of him that greatness. Steve Jobs, the phone you're using right now, he went ham on those, those, those designers to get this product that we have today. It wasn't easy for Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was fucking crazy to get the greatness out of the people around him. He had extreme discipline. There is no greatness without discipline. That's what's wrong with our people. We need organization. We need to understand everybody's not a fucking chief. And you have to understand who's a chief and who's an Indian. And we have to organize this shit. I don't got time to play with this shit. Oh, you only attract weed people. No, I attract the Indians, nigga. I'm a chief. You call the Indians weak when they the support? Man, get the fuck out of my face. You understand what I'm saying? You got to understand, man, we can't be great without order and structure and discipline. There has to be discipline. We can't be so relaxed. We're at war. What you think this cryptocurrency shit is? It's about to go down. I keep telling people, you can't, y'all relaxed, okay? Be relaxed. My guys are training. The women in, at boot camp, they getting their mind right. Shit is going, I'm training. They under strict discipline. You in my world, you under strict discipline because I'm going to bring the greatness out of you. But you're going to be under discipline. And you can call it abuse all you want. It's a difference between discipline and abuse. I'm trying to bring the greatness out of you. I can't bring that out of you if you ain't going to take yourself serious and you ain't going to take what we're doing serious. I don't care, like I said, I don't care who it is in life. They've been under extreme discipline to become great. Kanye West stayed in the fucking, he said he stayed in a basement with music for three fucking summers. That's extreme discipline. Not going out to stream just straight extreme discipline, yo. And you got a teacher that is passionate about your greatness. You best believe it's going to be discipline. And you can look at it, they can look, the world can look at whatever they want, how they want. I don't give a damn. I live my life. I am in my world. And I'm, and I'm great. I'm a legend. A living legend. Niggas won't catch up to the shit that I'm doing for years. By the time they catch up to what I'm doing, it'd be like, damn. I'm going to be forever. The truth is forever. It's not right now. Right now is the trend. That's, that's, I'm talking about Picasso, nigga. I'm talking about forever. Everything that I stand for is on forever. The truth is the only thing that's going to last in the end. So align yourself with that and you'll be forever. You'll have an eternal life. That's how you have eternal life, when you align yourself with absolute truth. Period. These people could never give you advice. Oh, I, I, I feel you, Aya. Y'all niggas is dead. You looking at your higher self, listening to your higher self. What the fuck could you do for Aya? Hmm. Well, fuck her life up. Yeah, Y'all miserable with your own life. Trying to help somebody with their life. Nigga, you ain't got your own shit together. Trying to help another nigga with their life. Get your shit together first. Your shit ain't all we got. You talking about, yeah, I, yeah, I feel you, but we can call somebody and do something about, nigga, get your shit together before you reach out and help you. That's another thing. The, the, the most key thing in life is to mind your motherfucking business. Stay in your lane. You don't know what's really going on. And everybody got an opinion because I put it out there. I'm triggering the psychology of my people's mind. I want them to see this shit. I do this on purpose because I'm a master in psychology. I'm a mastermind. I want to trigger the people. That's why I'm popular. Because at any moment, I could trigger the people to think. But he's, what he's saying is true. What he's saying is true. This is why uh, Kevin Samuels is so popular. Because he's triggering traumas. 
We got, and the truth is, the truth is so hard to deny, you can't even get around it. So he spends hours and hours debating people that cannot debate the truth and watching them fall. And what do they call him? The Godfather is still undefeated because he's aligning himself with truth and can articulate it. But they, they can't, they can't deny what Kevin Samuels is saying. The shit is funny watching people try. <laughs> That's why he this claim to fame is watching people try to debate the very absolute truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's capitalizing the shit off. He's capitalizing off that like a motherfucker, like a fat rat. But they can't deny what he's saying. That's why he's standing out. Exactly. People always want to see something great fall. They want to see me fall. Why? Because secretly they want to see what I'm built like. If I fall, I'm not as great as I said I was. But if I don't, then they'll kneel down and praise me and worship me in the end. Because they'll know I'm built like that and I was that. But in the end, all of them will find out who I am. All of them will find out what I was. And, 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 and that be that. Because in the end, like, you, like I said, it's Picasso. Rather, it's, it's forever. It's just forever. It's eternal. The, the knowledge I give you, the water. This is why Jesus said, the water I give you, you will never thirst again. Because it's eternal. It's eternal. It's the truth. But here you have the truth. Can I make you swallow it? Can I make you drink it? You have to thirst for it. <laughs> you have to thirst for it. And then take it in and then apply it. in the new software in to be able to for you to be able to reprogram yourself. Yeah. So when they say, oh you brainwashing these women, now these women come to me brainwashed. I program them. Yes. I was going to say <laughs> they want the program. That's why they fucking come. Everybody going after what the fuck they go. When y'all gonna hold the woman responsible for their own decisions? What you're saying is that black women are stupid. Black women are dumb. You're embarrassing black women to say that they can't make their own decisions about what they want to fucking do. No matter how extreme you might think it is, you and your dad and their mind, they saying, "Oh my God, who would ever want to do this?" They have to be brainwashed. You assume that. But I don't but say that how it already is. is and I'm cheating. And, if, and y'all not used to seeing how a woman conducts herself around men. A real man is going to demand that woman to become feminine and y'all look at that as abuse because you're like, they look scared. They not scared. They in the presence of the power. They feel my power. They feel my energy and that energy just going to pull out that, that, that femininity is just going to be like, oh, okay. how you're originally supposed you're to be. be light as a feather. We yeah. Be beautiful. Yeah. Right, you know? Women supposed to be feminine, you know what I'm but they've had to be masculine. I don't blame women. I don't blame men. I'm stopping that. I'm stopping that whole ordeal. I do not blame women. I blame the society and the environment within it. That's my argument to Kevin Samuel. Mm. He's blaming the woman. I'm not blaming the woman. You can't blame the woman when the woman been through what they've been through because of white supremacy. Mm. And I don't even blame white supremacy. I, it's deeper than that, even deeper than that. But let's start there. Because it's not us but blaming and beating down. And even though, you know what I'm saying, let's start there, first of all, and not beat each other down. It's not the woman's fault. It's not the men's fault. It's society's fault. It's the environment's fault that we came up in. And the conditions that we've been through for the last 400 years in our history. Psychologically, we have mutated into what we are today. And that is caused by what we've been through. And let's not beat the woman up. Let's not say it's the woman's fault. It's not her fault. We have to reprogram our woman and our people with truth. But the truth, like I, like I said, it's only for a certain few. It's not for everybody. You write about the reprogramming. Trust 
pissed me off. I bet that did. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't really understand, like, what was told to me. See, being, being here ain't really about being with me. More than, okay, that's your phone. It's not really about being with me. More than it is, is, is about. No, you go, let it run out. Let it run out. Hey, you screenshotted the fucking call. You won't know who called. Look, it's not about, what was I saying? Um, it's not. What it's not about reprogramming. It was. I mean, it's not. It was, I'm sorry. All this just got. When I was, yeah. Damn, cause I, cause you threw me off with your booty and shit. I, <laughs> you distracted me. You said it's not about a relationship with. Oh yeah, when it comes to Aya, it's not a really. It's not about having a Babylon relationship with me. She didn't come in for that. I'm pretty sure. If she came up for that, she came in for the wrong reasons. It should be a relationship with yourself. Right? Even when you have a relationship with me, it should be a relationship with yourself. Because I'm going to push you to what? A greater version of yourself. Yeah, she's going to take her hair. I'll give her a moment. Don't y'all want to see her transition? Yeah, I'm going to open up another um, live. Y'all come back in. I'm going to let y'all call in and talk. Talk to them.